Hey guys, so welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing these bad boys, the Odazi Buxwell. So yeah, so the headphones I'm replacing are the, the Sennheiser Momentum Trees, which are really good for listening to casual music and such. And also, they're wireless, so they're really useful for going for walks in the park and stuff. But because I was using them as my main like headphone for gaming and such, I didn't get to take them out and use them for what they're actually good for. So I got these bad boys, they're pretty really good. They're also wireless, um, very expensive. <laughs> well, they basically cost the same as these other ones, but these are meant to be for gaming. So hopefully I'll be able to pick up footsteps better. Cause that's one of my issues with those ones that they just don't have, like they just, the, the like, um, sound stage just isn't good enough to pick up where exactly the footstep is coming from. I kind of know the direction like behind or to the right, but not like somewhere here, you know, if you, if, if you get what I mean, like not diagonally, you know, I can't pinpoint it. I know what direction, but I can't pinpoint it at all. So that's why I got myself these Adazis. Pretty nice box, pretty nice box. Let's take a look. So, ooh, ooh, that was nice actually. Um, behind here is just some instructions, I think. Which are nice to have, nice to have. I think I'll be plugging these in wireless. Um, so, instructions probably not needed. But I assume this is the wireless adapter. It's the wireless adapter. Wow, this feeling is pretty nice. It's kind of the same plastic as the ones on my Sennheiser, to be honest. Yeah, it's basically the same plastic. Um, let me pull these out. Holy moly, these are heavy. These are heavy, heavy, bro. These are heavy. There's like no level. They're like a kg, basically. I like the way these fold back. I like the way they they feel nice. They feel nice on on the neck. Um, that's a feature my Sennheisers did not have. Momentum trees did not have that. Don't need that. Um, but yeah, you can even tell just by the size of the earmuffs. Like, look at the difference. That's wild, bro, how massive these are. Okay, so underneath this, there's another container. Charging cable, I assume. Which is just a round, which looks just like a normal seat type cable. I think these are just regular inputs. The Sennheiser has a, like a, a proprietary one, which is really annoying. And it costs like 20 euros to replace. And that, uh, so this is like an extender thing, and, and also an adapter for USB three. Oh, and there's the mic. Let me know if you guys want me to do an audio test. There's audio tests out there available, so I'm not probably not gonna bother. But <laughs> if you guys want me to, I will. But yeah, it's up to you. it's really up to you guys. Um, yeah, there's a the mic. It's bendable. You can bend it anyway, and it'll stay in place. It's a pretty, pretty nice feature. So I've got it connected to my amp right now. The big boy. There should be running power to it. Let's see. Let's try it out. On the head? Oh. Yeah, I do have a massive head, so probably use a bit more. Because it doesn't really go down that way, so I'm trying to adjust it. Okay, yeah, that's much better. Yeah, that's basically the unboxing done. So I'm going to run a few audio tests. Like, it's like a whole other world, to be honest. <laughs> I, can, I, I can hear that car. It's lower than my than these ones, than my other ones. It's lower than my momentums. But it's like I can pinpoint exactly where every noise is coming from. It's really weird to be honest. That's weird. Like I can hear her behind me, bro. Like that's really weird. That's actually wild. I wanna try Fortnite. Fortnite I spend all my days on, so basically I'll be able to tell it immediately. I didn't tell people get the cooling pads. Um, addition to it, the Terry Party cooling pads, because they do get really hot. Okay, so Fortnite's a game I play every day. Alright, so it's been like a week or so of me using these. Really good. Really happy with my purchase, to be honest. Really happy with it. Um, to be honest, kind of takes your gameplay up to the next level. Like, playing Fortnite, it's like, the immersiveness of it is so crazy. 
it's like I can before I see like because in Fortnite you get the visual footstep radius that appears on your screen. Before I even see that, I know exactly where everybody is. I can track them from all the way back there. Like before, all I could hear was like someone's back there or they're like in front of me somewhere. Now I can track them from there all the way there, and like I know exactly where they are. It's honestly like it feels like cheating, sort of considering how average and how subpar my footstep tracing before was. This is actually insane. I'm very much happy with my purchase. They're crazy. And like in the finals also, I'm, I'm playing a bit of the finals. Also really good. And just in general, like in general, it just makes a big difference to be able to hear where this noise is coming from. Even like story games, I finished Mafia 3. It's cool just be able to hear where people are talking from. And also Mafia 3, it was useful because like, like you could hear where, where the enemy was and you could like quickly identify where they were and just shoot them in the head. It's just awesome. It's awesome. I wish cheaper headsets had like this sort of sound because it'd be great. It'd be great, bro. Um, it's kind of like how the new technology with the Razer keyboards and like the I think Blood Checkout had it before, but it was Wu Tang that had it first, where it's like the hyper keys. I feel like that that will also feel like cheating once if I ever get my hands on one of those. But yeah, it's just an awesome upgrade to be honest. I, I'm not using the the USB dongle, which I should have been using from the start when I was trying this out. Much better. Um. And also, the range is crazy. I can go downstairs, make a coffee, um, go, go in the back of the garden, and it'll still be connected. Like, the range is kind of insane. Like, it's not the biggest house that I live in, but, like, it's decent size enough. And, like, with just my uh, regular beats and such, it doesn't work that far. And also, it's, like, no connection drop at all. It's insane, bro. I'm really happy with these. And also, as you can tell, I've got the new custom pads. They're a bit thicker and, like, maybe not as comfortable as the other ones. They are a bit cooler, to be honest. So it is an improvement, but but by the time that I that these arrived, I was very excited to enjoy the original ones. So I may just switch back the original ones and just use these once these get like once the original ones get like worn out. For now, I'm gonna keep these on, try try them out for a day or two, and then we'll see. But yeah, I'm really happy with my purchase. Okay, so comfortability wise, nine out of ten. I really like the way it fits. Um, once you just headband, you don't need to touch it at all. I like the way these stick to my head. I like the way that I can just put it down here and just like leave it like that, which is a feature that I know most headphones have, but my old ones didn't have, so it's nice to have. Um, yeah, I just like the way it fits. Like it just feels, it just feels like it should be on my head. <laughs> and like I, I play games all day, eight hours a day, no problems at all, bro. Audio wise, it's either the same or better than my Sennheiser ones. Which is my only real like comparison that I can do. Well, I have tried other headsets during the time, um, but yeah, obviously these are top tier. So like like medium to top tier like headsets. That's the one you want to really compare it to. This is as good as the Sennheiser. Maybe it lacks a bit bit of the base Sennheiser did have, but it makes up for it in, like in its overall clarity. So yeah, I'll also give it nine, maybe ten out of ten. In the video game, like, um, music-wise, it's probably an 8 out of 10, which is good enough. Gaming-wise, 10 out of 10. I've never heard a headset that's this good at being able to pinpoint footsteps with, so I'm loving these so far. Um, I'm sure down the road there'll be better ones that'll come out that are, that are even better than this. But for now, I'm in love with these. I love them. <laughs> I love how easy it is to find people. It, it makes gaming so much better, bro. It's, it's crazy. I love them. Um, yeah, so, yeah, um comfort oh yeah battery life also i haven't had to charge them um i do i do plug them in every once in a while like after two three days just to plug them in because i don't like because obviously it would, it would inconvenience me to have them go like be out of battery so let's plug them in but i haven't had a situation where it's like low low battery low battery my like my sennheiser ones only have 15 hours which is a lot less than 90 i think is what these say they have so yeah, also really good battery. Battery 10 out of 10. Considering how good these are, I, I always use them in Bluetooth and I haven't had a problem charging them yet. So it's pretty good, bro. It's pretty good. Yeah. So overall, I'm really happy with these. I love the way they look. I like the fact that it's slick. It doesn't like look like really expensive. Sometimes when you want to wear stuff out and it looks like really expensive, kind of like makes you bit hurt. But to be honest, no one would be able to tell what these are, and I like that. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I've been doing a lot of streaming with it. Comfortable throughout the stream. Been playing loads of games. 
Loving them in the games. Been watching loads of content. No issues with content either. I can hear everything. Everything sounds good. Everything sounds like it should. Yeah, I'm really happy with these. 10 out of 10, bro. 10 out of 10. Honestly, if you have the money and you're looking for a good headset, I haven't tried the mic. I'm sure the mic is fine. Which is, this is the best you can get, really. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I haven't, I haven't tried the mic. But if you're looking for a good, good headset, you like, you like wireless features, and you have like 300 to 400 euro because you live in Europe and taxes are crazy to spend on, on a pair of headset. Go for these, bro. They're good. By the way, I've been shitting on these kids in 1v1s and it feels amazing. So yeah, if you play Fortnite, get these. Really good. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.